Our news from the Hill story tonight. Democrats want to use the coronavirus stimulus to bail out failing liberal states. For example, the state of Illinois is asking for a whopping $40 billion in coronavirus stimulus. But don't be fooled. The reasons for Illinois' dire fiscal situation date back to long before the coronavirus. The state faces a $241 billion pension shortfall after years of increasing benefits and skipping pension payments. Liberal politicians in Illinois have spent money on big government programs and then paid for it by either borrowing money or by raising taxes and forcing business owners to flee to red states. And now they're suffering the consequences of this behavior. So the question tonight is this, why should conservative taxpayers in other states pay the price for the liberal tax and spend policies of failing blue states? With me now, visiting fellow at the Heritage Foundation's Fulner Institute and economics professor at Wake Forest University, James Otteson. Dr. Otteson, good to see you, sir. Thank you for having me. All right, Dr. Otteson, talk to me about this. This makes no sense to me, and it's actually remarkable from a political perspective that Democratic states, blue states, think they can get away with this. Well, I mean, the first thing to note is that the federal government's uh, expenditures on coronavirus and the response to it has been extraordinary. I mean, we've spent in just the last couple of months about two and a half trillion dollars at the federal level just in response to the, the pandemic. Um, to put that in perspective, the entire 2019 federal government budget was only three and a half trillion. So we've already spent 70 percent of that in addition just on coronavirus. So this is a an unprecedented and extraordinary expenditure. But when you talk about the states, um, so states have a lot of unfun they have a lot of difficulty with their budgets. Many of them run deficits. And as you were mentioning, many of them have very large debts. They have very large indebtedness. But not all states are the same. I mean, compare just two states very quickly. Think about Indiana on the one hand and California on the other. So Indiana has about one and a half billion dollars in um, in its general obligation for bonded. It's bonded indebtedness, about one and a half billion or about two hundred and twenty dollars per person uh, just in its uh, bonded debt. But California, by contrast, has two hundred and twelve billion dollars in bonded indebtedness. That's about five thousand three hundred dollars per person. So the, the, the difference is huge and tremendous. And it really is, as you were saying, um, not just the coronavirus that has caused this. What it's really done is exposed years and in some cases even decades uh, of very risky spending on the, on the parts of some states. Right. And I think we have to ask ourselves when states are wanting these big bailouts, you have to ask, why are you in this financial situation or why are you having this fiscal crisis to begin with? And show me evidence that it has anything to do with coronavirus or COVID-19, because if it doesn't, then you're basically putting your irresponsible behavior on the backs of uh, of responsible people in other states. And I don't see that to be fair for one thing it is unjust to people who've lived financially responsibly but it also sets a very bad precedent that they don't actually have to clean house to be able to have the money that they want that they don't need to you know make sure that their numbers match in their ledgers in order to keep spending the way that they want to spend you're you're right about that i mean and it's useful to think about this on the level of a house i mean if you're a parent um, and you have a couple of kids if one of your kids takes a credit card and maxes it out, maxes it out to the point where they can't spend, they can't pay it anymore. And another child has been with their job, maybe saving the money, investing it. And all of a sudden, the first child loses their job. So they can't make the interest payment. They can't make the principal payment. Something happened, an emergency happened. And they come to you as the parent and they want you to say, take the money you had saved for your other child's college education. And instead of spending it on your other child's college education, pay off my debts. Um, that's effectively what what we're asking to do here, what these states are asking. So states like California, New Jersey, Illinois are asking the federal government to make states like Indiana and other fiscally responsible states pay their debts when they've really just been spending way beyond their means, going way beyond their skis for years. OK, so my question to you then is, what's the solution? Because we do want states to be able to have the resources that they need to be able to address the COVID-19 crisis. We don't want people not to get what they need just because the governments of those states uh, have been irresponsible and didn't, you know, contribute to or even form a rainy day fund so that they might have extra cash on the side for when they needed it. So what's the solution to avoid uh, fiscally responsible states having to bail out fiscally irresponsible states, but also getting the fiscally irresponsible states the resources they need to address COVID-19? Yeah, that's a good question. It's a great question. I think the way it has to be done is that any aid that's coming from the federal government has 
has to be targeted and with strings attached. So if what you're spending that money on is actually um, working on quarantining people, uh, slowing the spread of the virus, maybe even you know helping frontline workers, that's one thing. But it can't go to, it may not go to things like paying off your future, your unfunded liabilities for state pensions that you've been building up for 20 years. Um, so the, the, the states do need help. They need help with specifically the coronavirus pandemic, which is something none of us could have anticipated. Um, but for the rest of it, they have to get their own fiscal houses in order. Yeah, and I, I think that's reasonable. Strings attached, uh, money earmarked only for specific things. And then, of course, the states need to prove that the money or that their need is related to COVID-19. It can't just be debt that they've racked up because of their own reckless behavior. Dr. Otteson, I appreciate you answering that question. I think it's a question that our entire nation and especially Congress needs to listen to. Thanks for being on the show.